Welcome to my channel. I am Ben, the business analyst expert. In today's video, we're going to talk about some Salesforce news, specifically Salesforce recent biggest acquisition and the impact it would have on the market. Salesforce has made a $27 billion offer for Slack, which would be the second biggest software acquisition to IBM's $34 billion purchase of Red Hat in July 2019. With such a gigantic number being thrown around, one simple question looms. Why does Salesforce is making such a big acquisition? Slack would provide Salesforce with a key collaboration-driven user interface. Not only does Slack facilitate discussions for millions of users, but also provides a broad array of integration that support workflows, converge communications with text discussions, and deliver a natural language interface to a variety of applications and services. Salesforce ownership will mark a new era for Slack, a tech upstart with the lofty goal of trying to replace the need for business emails. The cloud software giant may be able to sell Slack's chat room product to existing customers around the world, making it even more popular. Slack said in March that it had reached 12.5 million users who were simultaneously connected on its platform, which has grown more essential while corporate employees work from home during the coronavirus pandemic. Slack has boosted revenue in the midst of COVID-19, but the company's billings have been underwhelming because of shaky demand from small and mid-sized clients. Salesforce reported 20% year-over-year gain in revenue to $5.42 billion for its fiscal third quarter ending October 31st. Net income, benefiting from changes related to strategic investments and income tax, was $1.08 billion. Revenue increased by 26% to $15.44 billion as net income reached $3.81 billion. The company said revenue from its marketing and commerce cloud technology, which includes its B2B and B2C e-commerce software, increased 24.8% in Q3 to $804 million and by 24.3% in the first nine months to $2.26 billion. I'm sure that you'll agree with me that these numbers are quite impressive. Yet, the main take that I want you to recognize from these numbers is the fact that there is no better time than right now to start a career with Salesforce. And if you're looking to become a Salesforce business analyst, you can click the link in the description below. See you in the next video. And until then, keep smiling. Please subscribe to my channel if you have not done it yet. And don't forget to click the notification button. I hope you guys learned and enjoyed this video. Thank you and have a great day.